man. Man, 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 man. First off, shout out to the Giants. Shout out to the Giants for making it a competitive game and a big F you to the refs. F you to the refs. That's how I'm going to start this video. That's had the Philadelphia Eagles on the ropes. If anybody tells you anything different, they're a liar. Had the Eagles on the ropes. On the ropes. And even when they went up 11 at, at in the fourth quarter, I'm, I'm thinking that it was over. No, we come back. Tyrod Taylor deep. The Darius Slayton for the touchdown. We right back in it. Right back in it. Even at the end of the game, you get a chance. There's a couple things that's happening, man. A couple things to unpack. There's a lot to unpack in this game. A lot to unpack in this game, but first off, hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. What was Darren Waller doing at the end of the game? I know you took a big hit. You got you, you to gotta get the ball down so we can snap it, you know? You, 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 you got to get up and get the ball placed, man. We, had to, we needed to spike the ball. Instead of four seconds left, there should have been at least seven, eight seconds left. <laughs> that's that's the first thing. That's the first thing. And then it looks like a pass interference at the end of the game. Again, that's that's wishful thinking. It looks like it's a pass interference at the end of the game that the, that the refs miss. But here's the thing: the refs today, the refs, the refs today, awful, awful. Going into the half, that the false start. On John Michael Schmitz, that he didn't even move. He didn't even move. The ball didn't move. They said, oh, they called because he, he he brought his head up too fast. No, that's BS. Lane Johnson false starts every snap. And yeah, I never call it, but you call the false start at a critical point in the game, too. Critical point in the game. It was fourth and one. False start. Like, come on. You, the refs. The refs affected this game. Multiple holes missed. Multiple holes missed. Pass interference missed. The pass interference on Wondell Robinson at the at the end of the game. He was mauled. They impeded impeded on him get on his path to the ball. The refs were horrible today. Horrible. Horrible. So let's talk about. Let's try to break it down a little bit because I I want to rant, but I also want to talk about this game a little bit. So. I, you know what? Let me, the Eagles ain't the Eagles. I, I, I'll say that. The Eagles are not the Eagles. They're not the same Eagles as last year. Not the same Eagles as last year. Uh, I think we played them tough. I like what Deontay Banks was doing to, to A.J. Brown in the first half. A.J. Brown was non existent in the first half. He woke up in the second half. As soon as, as, soon as Deontay Banks got hurt and stopped playing, A.J. Brown started playing. So shout out to Deontay Banks. Wink Martindale. Roller coaster ride today. Roller coaster ride today. You already know what it is. Wink Martindale is known for the pressure. It's known for the pressure. It's third and 20. You drop down in that zone, and what happens? You don't send the blitzer. Jalen Jalen Hurts escapes escapes pressure, rolls right, finds AJ Brown down the sideline. Giving up on third and 20. Third and 20. Wink, do what got you here blitz pressure you see what happens when we play man to man and you see what happens when we pressure good things happen good things happen every time we get into that soft zone or whatever that's whatever you want to call it i call it the open zone because somebody's always open when we do that micah mcfadden you got to make these tackles micah mcfadden i ate crow i ate crow for weeks because you were playing lights out you were showing the progress. This game, you're missing tackles left and right. Missing tackles left and right. You had Jalen Hurts for the sack. Tackles for loss. You had, On Swift, you were missing a lot of tackles, Micah McFadden. Like, what's going on, man? Kayvon Thibodeau, man. He was trying his best. Wink is dropping him, that, dropping him in zone coverage in the flat. Why are you doing that? Jahai Ward getting all that playing time. At the end of the day, some of these guys that I'm naming that I'm upset with, and I'm not upset with Kayvon Thibodeau, 
some of the guys that I'm upset with, like Jahai Ward, okay, we, he's slow. He was able to make a play at the end of the game. Important play. Um, Xavier McKinney, not the strongest game from Xavier McKinney, but at the end, the guys are making plays. Guys are fighting. That's what you want to see. This is still the Philadelphia Eagles. They're still a better team than the New York Giants, but we, right, we fought them to the end. And I salute the Giants for that. We fought the Philadelphia Eagles to the end. At the end of the game, there was a chance for the New York Giants to score and send this game into overtime. Better than what we've seen the last two years anyway. Getting blown out in the playoffs, getting blown out in the regular season. We played the Philadelphia Eagles tough. Now, again, this is not the same Philadelphia Eagles. They're not a... Th I don't believe that they are a threat this year, really, when it comes to this conference. I think if they had to code cross Dallas again, they lose. Anybody in like, 49ers, they lose. The Eagles ain't the Eagles. They're not the same Eagles from last year. They either either the, the play is down or they figure something out. It ain't the same damn Eagles. It's not. They still beat the New York Giants, though. They still beat us today in a game where I believe if there were some calls like that false start, that call, the miss the miss pass interference call. There were some plays where we should have, like, we could have had points. At least three going into the second half. And that puts us where? Right in the mix. Right in the mix. Had the big pick six from Adoree Jackson. Adoree looked tired at the end of that. You let Jalen Hurts run him down. You're a cornerback, 195 pounds. You let Jalen Hurts run you. He ran you down. Luckily, you still got the touchdown. You was huffing and puffing. When we got the ball back, you wasn't on the field for the whole series. It's just as a point. I wasn't even into this. I'm always into the games. I'm always into the games, but I wasn't. I wasn't even into the game like that. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't thinking that the New York Giants were going to win this game. I was rooting for the win, but I wasn't thinking that the New York Giants were going to win this game. I didn't think we was going to win this game. But when you start fighting, and I see that we're losing, not because Philadelphia is just kicking our butts, because of stupidity. There was some 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 play calling on both sides of the ball. Where I'm sitting here like, you know, what are you doing? The fourth and one, Barkley, Barkley has a hot hand. You go away from you throw the Wandell in the flat. What are you doing? Fourth and one, get that ball back to Barkley. Run the ball. He was running the ball well that whole series. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Wink Martindale again with the zone. Like you see, we run man to man. We're getting that pressure. You're sending the blitz. But whenever we run that zone and we don't throw the blitz with it, it's, it's, it's open zone. Like I said earlier, it's open zone whenever we run that zone, whatever we want to call that zone, and we don't have a blitzer. It's open zone. Especially when you got a mobile quarterback where he can just go ahead and move out of the pocket, wait, 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 with no pressure coming to him, and just find the open man. Because guess what? They have a hell of a scramble drill. The Philadelphia Eagles have a hell of a scramble drill. Of course, the, the tush-push play, Listen, I'm not one of those people that hate on the touch push play. If we could run that play, I would love it. I'm not going to say, you know, we, that, that play shouldn't be legal because I hate as much as I hate the Philadelphia Eagles, if you can run that play successfully, I'm jealous. I wish we can do that. I wish we can do that too. But I'm just sitting here like, man, we had a chance. We had a chance to beat the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia on Christmas. And we didn't do it. We didn't do it. But it wasn't just all the New York Giants' fault, man. I can really, really say that the refs negatively affected this game for the New York Giants. Not saying that it's all their fault. It's a lot of blame to go around for this loss. But I will say this. I'll take the bright side. And it's the New York Giants played well today. The big news is Tommy DeVito, it seems like the, the run is really over. Tyrod Taylor started at the second half. Had a little bit of juice. Well, we got the juice because Boston Scott, who was not a Giants killer today. He wasn't a Giants killer today. Boston Scott fumbles. Isaiah Simmons, Isaiah Simmons gets the recovery. Two plays later, we got the touchdown with Saquon Barkley. Listen, it, we were right there. We had the Philadelphia Eagles on the ropes, and I think that's what makes me the most upset about this loss because we had a chance. We had. I wasn't reeled in. I, was, I ended up being 100% reeled in by the end of this game. I really, I really wanted to win this game. It would have been a fantastic, a fantastic gift, you know, for the Giants fan base, especially, especially in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, all those Giants fans in the crowd, hopefully they would have been able to make it home if we would have won that game. 
But yo, it was right there and we came up short. So the New York Giants are now five and 10. Season is over, out of the hunt officially, mathematically out of the hunt. And yeah, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. We have the Rams next week. We had the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, you know, in two weeks again. And here's what I'm going to say, and I'm dead serious. I want to beat the Eagles, man. And they, they can't they can't afford to rest their players. So it's going to be a meaningful game for them. I want to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. I know we got the Rams next week. It is what it is. I'm not worried about our season anymore. Um, but I, I really want to... We, we're not really playing a role of spoiler, really, because I think Philadelphia is going to make the playoffs regardless. But I just want to make sure that we do our part to try to keep them out of the number one seat or, or either the, the being number one in the division. That's, that's what I'm hoping for now. That's what I'm hoping for now, man. Call me a hater, call me whatever. Shout out to the Philadelphia fans, though. It was, it was, the game was exciting. It was competitive. That's all a New York Giants fan can ask for. But again, we had y'all on the ropes, Philadelphia. On the ropes, pressured, sweating a few times in that game. And shout out to the New York Giants for doing that. Please hit that like and subscribe button. The channel was growing. I'm almost, we almost at 4,000 subs, man. We almost there. I think we need about a 250 more. Go ahead and share this. Like this. Um, if you talk about the Giants in your circle, let people know about this page. I'm trying to hit this 4,000 mark, man. I'm trying to hit 4,000. Hopefully before the end of the season, we got two more weeks. Can can I get 250? Can I do that? Maybe, possibly. If I do do it, it'll be all because of you guys. But again, I want to thank everybody for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. You know, all that. Everything that you celebrate. Shout out to you guys. I hope you guys are healthy. I hope your families are healthy. I hope everybody's good. I hope you enjoyed your holiday and the food, the gifts, all that. New York Giants fans, let's go.